Hello friends, my name is Willow and welcome back to Witchwood. Today we are continuing trying to finish these quests to get their souls, but uh, we got two already, so I think we only have two more in this little section and then we move on to the other half of the portals. So let's jump right in. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, so collect four first. Uh, so I guess it's split up into two halves. So let's see. So we need the snake and the ox. So I just need to finish destroying the shrines. I need to investigate the bandit camp. Oh, but I need to get those. Um, sorry, I need these guys. So I need more hopper legs, I guess. Unless I only need one. We'll see. Okay, we gotta destroy the fairy shrines in the forest. So that means we gotta find them first. Find the shard in the forest pixie's tree. Find the shard in the small- Oh, I need to get destroy the shrines in order to get the one from the pixie's tree. Because I have to prove that I'm cool. I'm cool with the pixies. Really, that just reminds me of uh, the Fairly Odd Parents, where the pixies are like corporate, boring people. <laughs> um, is there a fairy shrine here? I'm not seeing one. once again. I can't remember where I already destroyed them, so maybe those were the two I've already gotten. Sorry. Okay, so now we're back at the pixie tree. So that has the shard I need. And I already destroyed the shrine there. <sighs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what are your weaknesses? The dreadful to all. Yay! All right. So now I need to return to the pixies. I kicked over those little rock piles like you asked. Now give me that shard or I'll knock over this nest too. You smashed fairy shrines? <laughs> good, good, take it. We don't want your trash. Take it. All right. So now we just gotta bring it to the lady, which is in the swamp. Oh no, no, she's right here. Have you found any of the mirror shards? I wonder where they could be. Oh, don't worry, darling, I got it. You gingerly hand over the broken glass shards to the maiden. She's careful not to cut herself on the sharp razor edges as she slots them into the mirror frame. The pieces click into place perfectly, and the surface of the mirror ripples like the water on a lake. The ripples calm, settling into the form of a pristine crystal mirror. She gazes into the mirror with awe. Look, it's as good as new. Oh, the maiden's reflection is rip. The maiden's reflection ripples and morphs into the visage of a handsome young man. My love, is that you? Overcome with joy, a fresh stream of tears rolls down her cheeks. I, I can't believe my eyes. I don't understand. What happened? Where are you? I'm imprisoned inside my own head. It's horrible here. You have to come get me out. You went to the snake, didn't you? Why would you do something so stupid? Uh, listen, my love, I have a confession to make. I'm not actually that good of a musician. What are you talking about? You were so beautiful upon your balcony, a bum like me would never get your attention. So I, uh, I asked the snake to help me out a little. I thought I could protect myself from the snake's hypnotic gaze with this magic mirror, but then you went and broke the darn thing. I didn't break it, it slipped out of my hand. Wait, don't put this on me. How could you be so irresponsible? One problem at a time, children. We fixed the mirror, so it should be able to break the snake's spell now. Yes! Oh, you have no idea how unbearable it is being stuck in here. There's nothing but awful poetry and song lyrics that don't even rhyme. 
please, Granny, take the mirror. I can hardly stand to look at this buffoon any longer. Babe, wait. Oh, I'm taking it. And we are going to the snake. Getting that fucking soul. Good evening. Oh, we're coming to see the snake. Sudden dread grips the snake as you swing the shimmering mirror to meet his eyes. The mind-altering patterns of his gaze are reflected back to them. Slowly but steadily, the snake leans closer and closer to the surface of the mirror. His forked tongue flicks against the glass and then disappears beyond it. It's so beautiful. Like a length of rope being pulled through an eyelet, the snake rushes forward and vanishes into his own reflection. That's it? Easy enough? The mirror jolts and bucks out of your hand, clattering to the ground. You stoop down, careful not to look too deeply. <sighs> Hidden in the reflection of the mirror's surface, you can faintly make out a tiny, wriggling shape trapped just beyond the veil of this world. The soul of the snake. We're better. Quest completed! Okay. So next, we just have the ox. So I gotta make some more dreadful dolls. So that means we're gonna track this guy now, but I have to get more hopper legs. What else do I need for that? Grain and a sewing kit. How do I make the sewing kit? I needed skeeter snoots, okay. I love the carnival music, it's really fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, let's check in on these lovebirds, eh? Looks like the two of them are working things out. Good. Alrighty. So we need to go get those skeeter snoots first, which means I need these. How many? I think I'm gonna make three of these dreadful dolls just in case. So I need hella hopper leg, hella green, and then okay, I guess I'll get more reedy twine just in case. Yeah, I don't need it. Never mind. Damn, Granny's zooming through this fucking town. All right. get two when I cut those. Alright, well, I guess I'll get this guy. Even if he's by himself. I try to get him in, in twos, but uh, a little hard. But I'm gonna do it one more time. Hey buddy, how you doing? Love wife. Of course. Okay. Rooms. Actually, I'll get more embalming salts while I'm here. And some frog slime. Lovely. Cool. Alright, I'm finally getting the hang of the scroll wheel a little bit, because it. I guess every time I always think it's the opposite of what it actually is. And so I just gotta really focus on making sure I do the opposite of what I think I need to do. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, and then we need this guy. So we just need more hopper legs and grain, which is in the farm. So... Where's the... Yeah, here it is. Excuse me. I just wanna, you know, go quick. Get 
the fields. What is this? Because I can kind of tell, you know, like... It's like, like mushroom and cactus place. Almost like a... Old... Yeah, like... Because here's like Wild West, right? And then here's like... A 1900s question mark? And then here's just snowy place. So this one, I don't know. Oh, maybe like ancient? If there's statues and shit? We'll find out. I like it though. All right, come back here, you freaks. All right. We need more hopper legs. And then grain, which was up north of the fields. Right? Yeah, right up here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, and then hoppers. There we are. Come back here. All right, now I just need a couple more hoppers. And then we will be all good. Nope, I just wanted that bug, thank you. The fields music is just so sweet, so calming. Any, any bugs up here? There they are. All right, how many do I got? I can make two, but I want three just in case I fuck it up. So we gotta get two more hopper legs. <laughs> LOL. I love their little mumbling. Thanks. Good day to you. Thank you. Ah, there's one. Hmm. Wonder what's up with this. Oh. There we go. Lovely. Okay, now we should be able to make one more of these. Okay, cool. Now we can go confront the bandits. And this is our last quest before the end of the section, so. Right, this is what they needed, yeah. How'd you manage to get your creaky bones past me, grunts? Tch, my mooks must be getting fat round the waist to let you slip by so easily. Never too old to teach them youngins that hands are better left out of people's pockets. Next time I catch one of your thugs rooting for gold, they'll have to recount their fingers. Ha ha ha! Ain't afraid of nothing, are ya? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to our merry camp. Though I suspect you didn't come just to scold us. What do you know about the ox who works the southern fields? He told me his family might have come through this way. Oh yeah, we know all about the ox. We also might have seen that family of his, but on the other hand, maybe we didn't. What's it to ya? Listen up, you big lug. That information is just about the only thing stopping me from changing the whole lot of you into stinking chickens. All right, Granny, no need to get so upset. We were just playing games, you know? Yeah, we used seen that family, a boy and his mom, if I remember. Always walking in that big ox's shadow. Always afraid of him, too. You didn't kidnap them? Where are they now? You know, you remind me of my dear old ma. She didn't take no guff from no one, neither. Ah, she used to bake the most delicious meat pies. I sure do miss her cooking. Me and the boys have been awful hungry lately. Thieving's hard work, and crime doesn't always pay. Say, do you know how to bake? I even got my ma's pie recipe right here. 
Who knows? On a full stomach, I might remember something about that missing family. A humble pie. <laughs> Lovely. So what do I need for that? I need a roast beast dough and a crow's foot. Okay, so I need milk. Crow's foot, I assume I get from a crow. And then for this guy, I just need witch spice, which I can craft. Okay. And then dough, I need milk. So I need two jars, which means craft this guy. Actually, I'm gonna craft a couple extra, just so I have some more. All right. Yeah, get away from me. All right, now we just gotta go to the cow. Thank you. All right. And then crow's feet. So I've seen the crows, but I don't think I've witch-eyed them to figure out what their weakness is. Right? Hi, bud. Okay. I'll catch those guys while I'm at it. And I'll do this while I'm here. You know. Just silly old things. Never know what you're gonna need. I did get advice in the comments about um, just picking up pretty much everything you see because it's always necessary pretty much later. Which is good because I'm already kind of in that habit of just, if I got space in my inventory, you're coming with me. All right. I'm not seeing any crows. Okay. any crows over here? Just turkeys. Just turkeys. Alright. I swear I heard their little car earlier. Yes. Oh, a snap trap. Easy. I have four right here. Eat my trap. Yay! All right. Lovely. And that was... Where were they? They're past this farm, right? Excuse me, folks. I don't know what I'll need a changeling root for, but it better come in handy because I'm getting a lot of those. <laughs> oh, there it is. Don't make me get past you again. Okay, thanks. Hey, yo. Alright, say, do you know how to bake? I even got my pie recipe right here. Fee fi fo fum, I want pie in my tummy tum tum. <laughs> Come on, then, have a helping. 
Bandit plunges his hand into the pie, grabbing a fistful. He barks in delight as wet chunks of pie filling spatter out of his gob. Ah, delish, just like how Ma used to make. But something's different. Picks a small black feather from between his yellow teeth. Is this crow? I figured you could do with a serving of humility. Oh, he eat crow. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Anyways, the gargantuan man's lip begins to quiver. Great watery tears well up at his beady eyes. What's the matter, dearie? Are the spices too strong? <laughs> no, it ain't spices. It's just... It's just... He deteriorates into great shuddering sobs that shake the camp. Maui said I was a bad seed. Said I weren't good for nothing but eating and thieving. But all I really wanted to do was dance. I was gonna make the greatest dance troupe the world had ever seen. Had a name in mind and everything. Pick and the leaping pockets. <laughs> but, but, maybe doing nothing but taking, always taking. Oh, Ma was right. I'm a bad apple. <laughs> Come on now, try those eyes. You're not all that bad. Oh. Come on now, dry those eyes. You're not all that bad. He snorts a dangling cough of snot back into his nose. <sighs> you really think so? You gently reassure with another helping of pie. Of course not. You're going to tell me all about the Ox's family, aren't you? Oh, right. Well, you see, we've been spying on that Ox for years now. Every full moon, he'd go out into the fields all by his lonesome. He'd howl at the sky. What was it he'd say? Oh, yeah, he'd yell, Abraka Corncob. Then it always sounded like he got into an argument with someone. But there was never anyone else there except that creepy old scarecrow of his. Pat the sniffling rogue on his stubbly cheek. That's a good lad. Maybe it's time to think about trading the daggers for dance shoes? He stuffs more handfuls of the crumbling pie between his blubbering lips. <laughs> yes, um, I'll do it. I'll dance. Good. Oh. Egg. Thanks. They chirp really loud. Good evening, good sir. Who are you? What do you want? If that lumpy vegetable farmer sent you, just go back and tell him to suck eggs. What? Who? Oh, don't play all innocent with me. I know a spy when I see one. Get lost, turphead. This eerie simulacrum of a human sways in the breeze. Its lumpy face seems to leer down at you as if expecting something. Ah. Abaca Corncob? The figure creaks against his pole as if its vegetative head twists to look at you. It takes a wheezing breath, expelling a moth from its mouth hole. Hello, yes? Have you come to strike a deal with the great and magnanimous Harvest Master? Uh, no thank you. I'm involved in quite too many dark contracts with the supernatural beings at the moment. Uh, then why have you summoned me? Has the Ox made a deal with you, perchance? The Ox? Why, yes! Terrible trade, I say, but a deal is a deal. What sort of trade? Does it have to do with his missing family? Yes! He said he wanted to win pretty prizes, grow the best crops. He said he would give up anything in the world. So he offered me his wife and son, and I'm not one to refuse a bargain like that. Where are they? What'd you do with them? Don't worry, they're fine, but as long as I make the crops grow, they belong to me. And if the crops should fail, your deal would be broken? Ha! I am the great harvest master. My harvest will never fail. We'll see about that. I better take a closer look at these prize-winning plants. Could mean like salt the fields. <laughs> Withering can. Oh, that's exciting. Hmm, these stalks don't look too sturdy to me. Good herbicide ought to shrivel these right up. That'll teach the ox a lesson about proper agricultural practices. I'll need a sturdy enough vessel to hold the poison, though. Maybe I can convince that veg vegetal fellow to give up that nice big watering can of his. Alright, let's see. So we need... Oh. Okay, so I have to get that first. Then I can do that. Let me. Good evening. Uh, 
Alrighty. Hey, good sir. Then hello again. Find out anything about what Sat Ox is up to? As a matter of fact, I have. It seems he traded his family to a turnip wizard or field genie or some other nonsense. Ah, uh, you must mean the Harvest Master. That explains a lot, actually. Bad business to get mixed up with that sort of fellow. The farmer nervously wipes his brow with the back of his leafy hand. Uh, not that I would know anything about that myself. Listen, I don't have time to exchange farm gossip. I need to borrow your watering can over there. Ah, I'd be happy to lend it to you, but unfortunately I still need it to grow my prize fitting vegetable. He glanced down at the fat head of cabbage bobbing gently against a blanket of big swaddling leaves. I think you may have heard a faint giggle coming from deep within the fronds. Seems plenty big enough to me. Ah, just you wait. My little baby is going to grow up to be a great big baby. It's going to be the belle of the ball at this year's festival. But if it were to, say, grow a little bit faster, I suppose I wouldn't need my father and can at all. You swear the farmer winks at you despite not being equipped with any eyes. <sighs> does, any, does nobody here grow produce in an honest way? Let me take a look at the little tyke. You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. But if it gets your hands on that watering can, it couldn't stand to be a little fatter. Growth potion, turkey, gizzard stone, and jar of water. Okay. Growth potion. I need apothecary humors, magic paste. No, I need milk. But apothecary humors I can make. Great. So magic paste, I need milk. And then I just gotta kill a turkey, I guess. You know what? I almost brought more milk when I was by the cow, and then I thought, what would I need more milk for? So silly of me. Always more milk to be had. Thank you. Alright, now let's see what the turkey's weaknesses are. Digestive tablets. That's what I fed the... the, um... frog, right? Oh! Well, that's easy enough. Nope, thank you. Craft a growth potion for this magic paste. And then what was the third thing? Water. One of the farmers had water. <laughs> had a little spigot. Should be right over here, right? Hey. Yeah. Okay, I need to craft more jars. Great. All right. Craft. We've got this. We just needed. Oh wait, no, we just needed that separately. We didn't need to craft anything with it. <gasps> ah, you look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. Ba 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 ba. There you go. You pop them with a cork of the potion and sprinkle the bright liquid on the cabbage's roots. Turkey gizzard stone. Crushed into a fine powder, a gizzard stone lends potent nutrients to the soil. You spritz the cabbage with fresh, clean water while uttering a several horticultural charm. The water beads like dewdrops before the leaves drink them up and brighten in color. The budding plant changes to a bright purple, then blue, then yellow. Suddenly goes rigid and shrinks to the size of a marble. The farmer gasps in horror as his precious baby disappears back into the earth. He turns to you, shoulder stiff and pitchfork in hand. He takes one step in your direction, but stops abruptly when a tremor shakes the ground. You look to your feet and watch deep cracks split the earth. Hold on to your hat. This one's gonna be big. You hear, you hear a booming giggle echo from deep in the ground. The vegetal farmer falls to his knees, clutching his hat to his chest. In an explosion of leafy greens and flying earth, the bouncing head of an enormous cabbage erupts in the field. The farmer reaches out to it, shakily. My, my little baby? Papa? <laughs> the 
farmer scrambled towards the big bubbly cabbage with open arms. My beautiful baby, look how big you've grown. See, with a little love and help from your friends, you're sure to win the first prize after all. Oh, I don't even care about that silly thing anymore. Just look how handsome my baby is. The two embrace, laughing and crying. I guess you won't be needing that watering can anymore. Please help yourself. You've helped me more than enough. Baby! I like baby. It will take some work to break through the Scarecrow's magical boon, but you're confident in your mastery of potions. Okay, potion. Okay, pumpkin jack bone I can do. Gotcha. Word water and potion of blight. Okay. So I need an eye of newt and then a potion of blight. Oh, there we go. Word water. Oh, sorry. That was the potion of blight. I need, just need more water. So I need water and I need the eye of newt. All right. Where is that dam? There it is. Swamp. What did the newts need? Was it a snap trap or was it? Hmm. Okay, that's easy. Excuse me. Two hours later. <gasps> Wait. Yeah, basic. Okay. Haha. <laughs> this bad boy while I'm here. Alright, now we can go back. Um, let's see if I can get water. Y'all got water? Yes, you do. Okay. We got that. And we got that. And then, what else do we need? Oh no, I already gave them the other things. So, now I can get back to the field. Potion of Blight. You hold your breath and empty the poisonous vial into the container. The toxic fumes make your fingernails curl. That doesn't sound comfy. Good amount of weird water will dilute the potion to keep it from eating straight through the metal can. Find a hefty stick to mix all the ingredients together inside the watering can. You know your work is done when the stick dissolves into mush in your hands. Take it! Hey, baby! Alright. Ox. Hey, I thought I told you to beat it! He raises a hoe and brandishes it at you menacingly. Okay. I need this bad boy. Instead of this. You watch the sickness spreading up the stalks to the very tips of the tallest leaves. Vivid greens turn to diseased browns as the crops bend and droop. No! What's happening? Harvest Master, we had a deal! You promised my crops would never fail. Dreadfully sorry. Looks like my magic is broken. Not my fault. The ox throws himself to the ground, desperately raking the soil with his fingers. Wait! Let's make a new deal, please! I sacrificed too much for this. A new deal? What is your offer? Anything you want, just bring my precious crops back to me. Anything, hmm? This is acceptable. Worm-like roots suddenly wrap around the ox's feet to begin dragging him into the soil. Wait, I didn't mean! <laughs> Oops. The dust settles over the spot where the ox once stood as if nothing happened. Though the soil looks barren and diseased, a small sprout of leafy green catches your eye. Where the ox once stood, a green tendril has pushed its way through the earth. You watch a delicate blossom unfurl, revealing a stubborn, hard-shelled seed, the soul of the ox. Oh! 
the souls of the bear, leech, snake, and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's that, then. I better get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of the place. All right, yes. <gasps> Good shit. Ox's family. <gasps> Standing at the front gate, the ox's missing wife and son blink in confusion as if they had just burst forth from the earth itself. Ma? What happened? Ah, oh, welcome back. I suppose you don't remember much. He really did it, didn't he? That stupid festival prize was worth more to him than us. Where is he? Where's my husband? Don't fret, I've already set things straight. He won't be troubling you again. And you've got this nice fertile farm all to yourself now. My son and I worked ourselves to the bone for that horrible man. Thank you for lifting this curse. Just do me a favor and don't make any deals with suspicious scarecrows. Oh, babies, I know. Alright, return to the goat. So that means I just gotta go through the little teleporter here. Go back to my home. And then we're done. Right, for now. The first half. Because the second half is, I guess, on the other side of the map. Alrighty. Into the shrine. Monsieur, I have some souls for you. The goat rears its head at the side of you. Its hooves pound the ground excitedly. Most excellent. I can sense the presence of spirits about you. You must have captured the souls I asked for. No small task, I can tell you that. Just what do you plan on doing with them? Oh, this and that. Nothing you must concern yourself with. What's important is that you are one step closer to fulfilling your contract with me. Just go ahead and place them in the shrine there. I'll take care of the rest. The goat shakes its head towards a carved relief at the back of the room, grinning in a horrible way that no goat should. As you bring the stuffed bear close to the carved stone relief in the wall, it spontaneously bursts into flames in your hands, burning away until only a harsh red stone remains. The stone zips out of your grasp and straight to a socket on the wall, buzzing like some angry insect. You are buffeted by flashes of the bear's wrath. Drunken, roaring, cowering bodies, splintered wood, the smell of honey, dried worm. <laughs> as with the first, the mummified husk of the leech turns to ash as you bring it close to the wall, leaving only a glowing orb in its place. Images of the leech slither into your mind. The prick of a needle. The drip, drip, drip of draining fluids. Soothing words, restless sleep. Cracked mirror. Prismatic colors flash through your head as the thought of the snake. Secrets lapped up by a forked tongue, whispers beneath the sound of festivities. The ox brings with him the overbearing heat of midday sun, the salty tang of sweat in the soil. Suffering, sacrifice, solitude. Aha! You step away from the shrine and its smoldering stones. Your burdens suddenly feel much lighter. Beside you, the sleeping maiden stirs in her slumber, but does not wake. Now then, you've had a very long day. Why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow we shall pick up bright and early. Yes, I am quite tired. All right. Well then, perfect place as any to stop. All righty, I am super hyped that we finished that first half. So now we just have four more souls to get. And I'm sure it'll be much more complicated and convoluted than the first half. But I am really enjoying myself playing this game. I, I'm really a big fan of like crafting games. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you like my content. I'd love to have you as a part of the coven. But in the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Bye.